Hey everybody, once again, Indian Digger here. Just uh, wanted to give a shout out to my subscribers and uh, just, you know, thanks for being a part of mine, uh, YouTube and all that, and my metal detecting stuff. And uh, just give a shout out to the Digger Guy 77, Grave Digger Max, Metal for Detecting, Dirt Fishing America, Super Drew. Metal Detector, well, I forget the rest of that name, let me see here, who is it? Metal Detector, Matt 68, and then the Geekzoid, and then Two Track Picker. Uh, I technically have 11 subscribers, but only subscribers who share their subscriptions publicly are shown. So, that's you guys. But what I wanted to do today was uh, give you an update on what I said from yesterday when I was showing you my whole coin collection. I uh, had some world coins that I had not shown yet, and now I'm going to. But at the same time, I'm also going to give you an update on some American stuff that I forgot I had. Let's move on over here. These I forgot to show you my uh, three two dollar bills I've had these for a while now this one at the top here is a uh, 1976 next one down is a 1953 C and the next one down for that is just a 1953 so I've uh, recently taken in these two bottom two and this one I've had for uh, quite a while, for a long, uh, at least a couple years, I think. So that's those. And then I found this V nickel. It's really worn out. Um, the only thing I can read on it is 18 something. I don't know if it's 1880 something, 1890 something, but I could definitely see the V. I know it's a V-nickel, but I just don't know the year. It is in pretty bad shape. But hey, I got one. That's all I care about. But then on top of that, I also, on the side, like to go around to the uh, Goodwills, thrift shops, and whatnot, see if I can't buy some uh, cheap silver or gold jewelry, or sterling silver, whatever it may be. And, uh, Actually, I took this from my wife because she don't want it no more. And it's a uh, nice little diamond pendant. It's a uh, 925. And it says, uh, I believe up here it even says, let's see. That baby says, yeah, on the little class right there, which we're not going to be able to show you because my camera sucks. It says, ZRW925 and I don't have a diamond tester but I do know that the diamonds are real or at least they better be because I did buy it from Zales and then uh, when I was going around to the thrift shops I picked these up these all say 925 on the top there don't know really what they are they're uh why my camera sucks? That's a little bit better. They must be like a charm thing to go on a rope or something. That type of thing. But they're, they're 925 and I picked that up along with this as a package deal at a thrift store. And that says Sterling right at the top there on that top leaf. S-T-R. S-T-E-R. Period. And then uh, I asked them if they could throw in this little sand dollar pendant. And this one actually says Sterling on the back. Can't see it. Ah, this camera sucks. But it does. So I've got all that. And then, uh, of course, I had to go out and eventually buy myself a little scale. So I would take, well, let's turn the, let's turn the scale on here. So I just take everything here, put 
put it all on there. And with everything all together, 14 grams. Not too bad. For the, uh, the pendant, I, well, I guess I would call it a pendant because it's got like a pin clasp on the back like it's a brooch or whatever. The uh, pendant and the whatever you want to call them beads that go on a bracelet or something or uh, yeah, whatever. I uh, all and for the sand dollar, I paid five bucks for that. So that's good. I'm easily getting my money back out of that. But obviously, I'm going to lose on this unless I can clean it up and fool somebody and sell it for good. But uh, that's my silver. And plus, I also do have that uh, that one ounce silver bar that I showed you guys yesterday. That's uh. Where is that? Uh, that's in here somewhere. Right. Oh, saw it. Where'd it go? There it is. Right there. So. It says 94 graduation at the bottom. It's a uh, one ounce, 0.999 fine silver. So if we take all this stuff, push this off to the side. I just like to see what this says on one ounce. Even though it's an ounce, I have never weighed it. I just want to see the numbers. Switch to ounces. Hey, 1.1. So I did even better. And that was free for my grandparents. So that's cool. So there's that. But what I really wanted to get into was all of my world coins that I have. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take pictures of these coins to go along with this video, because obviously my camera during video does not focus good, but I can get a decent focus when I'm doing camera. But as far as we go, we have a Netherlands 1954 5 cent. We have a Germany Federal Republic. I believe you call it 10 Fennec, because I think the P is silent. And this coin, I have no clue. Have no clue what it is. And uh, on the other side, we still have no clue. So, whatever. <laughs> and then this coin here, I found on Google Images. It uh, just said it's Middle Eastern. Uh, it says five on the other side of the coin. 2002. But uh, not sure really what it is. And then I have some Philippine coins here, and on them they say United States of America, one centavo apiece. One's from 1937, one's from 1944. And then if you come down to here, I got more Philippine coins, and on them they say Central Bank of America. Or America. Of the Philippines. I can't read as long as I'm talking to you. Uh, these two, both from 1960, 1964, five centavos. 1960, 25 centavos. And then when we move over to these, these are also from the Philippines. With uh, These are centimos, though. And let's see, 1972, 10 centimos, and 1972, all five of these, five centimos. And then we have an Austria, 1973, 10 shillings. We have a Great Britain uh, penny, 2001. It's a one penny. A 1979 half new penny. I really excuse the focusing on my camera. And I have a uh, 
1971 Great Britain. It's a two new pence. And I have uh, two Panama coins. Uh, one's Balboa and the other one's Uraka. I don't understand what the... I don't know much about Panama, so that's what I've uh, found out. And let's see. This one's a 1966. And if I believe when I looked it up, it said one-tenth of a cent, which I don't understand that. And this one didn't have anything on it at all. It just said for... Uh, it says... UN Centesimo, 1987, Panama, Uraka. Then I have a Jamaican coin, 50 cents, 1987. We have a Belgium coin, 1964. Uh, I believe it's one franc. Is that what they, the FR stands for? Then we have Russian coins. They're all rubles, I found out. 1995, 50 rubles. 1992, 20 rubles, 92, 10 rubles, and a 92 and a 92, 5 rubles. And then we have a Mexican coin, uh, 1954, 20 centavos. And this one's also a Mexican coin. Um, doesn't say centavos on it, but it does say the Republic of, or what does it say? Estados Unidos Mexicanos, if I said that right. And it says $1,000, 1989. And I looked it up on eBay, and somebody's got this coin running for $25. Don't know if mine's as good as that, but it must be a rare coin. So I just put centavos in parentheses just in case. Who knows? Let me know if anybody knows. And I've got a 1975 Spain coin. Uh, five pesadas, I guess is what you say that is. And then a uh, 1979 Bermuda is uh, five cents. We got two Australian coins. Top one's a 67, and the bottom one's a 1973. They're both 10 cents. And then I've got uh, two Bahama Island coins. The top one's a 69. And the bottom one is a 85. Uh, top one's worth five cents, and then one cent. And then I have all my Canadian coins. And I have the uh, 1989 gold dollar, the 2011 25 cents, 2007 25 cents. And this one's this one's the same size as the quarter. It just says 1999 October. I take it as 25 cents. Uh, I, I guess it is. does not specify. And then I have a 1977 nickel. A 1984 nickel, 5 cents. And then a uh, 2009 10 cent. 2004 10 cent. And this one here. 2050, or 2052. Dyslexia coming in again. 1952 to 2052 uh, with a mint mark of P. Ten cent. I didn't know they had like a, a bicentennial coin, so that's news to me. Looked that one up, and somebody's actually running that on eBay also. I forget what it was going for, but I was kind of shocked. Uh, here's a 2001 ten cent. And then my last world coin is a uh, 1991 penny, one cent. So that's actually everything. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you have any comments on any of these coins. If I said them wrong, read them wrong, whatever I did. And uh, let me know what you think. Give me, uh, give me a comment. And hopefully, people that aren't watching, subscribe to me. I'd like to get you going with me. So, uh, this is Indiana Digger. I'm out once again. I'll see you guys later.